You ever had apricot Cantonese chicken before? Ah, uh, we're gonna make it in our instant pot. Finish it off in our air fryer. Well, that's me, I am Instant Pot Dave of the Wild Wains, hanging out in Woodland Park, Colorado. If you do find this video helpful, subscribe to our channel and share our video with your friends and family. And we have a link to tools and toys used in our kitchen and a link to this recipe in this video's description just below. Early in the morning, we're gonna start our marinade by chopping six large cloves of garlic and one yellow onion. And we'll slice one ripe lemon into quarters. I'm going to fill one gallon Ziploc bag with our chopped garlic. I'm going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce. And two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. I'm going to add about a half a cup of apricot preserves. Take a sip of Palisade peach wheat beer. Because ah, why not? Ah, zip up our Ziploc bag. I'm going to shake it up, make sure those ingredients are mixed real well. Take a whiff of that. Uh, we got ourselves a fresh chicken from the farmer's market. Uh, we're going to stuff that chicken full of lemon wedges and chopped onion pieces. And we're going to fill that cavity as good as we can and really smash it in there so all the ingredients stay in. Throw in your leftover chicken parts and whatever onion pieces you have left, uh, followed by your chicken, into your marinade Ziploc bag. Uh, wash your hands. We're going to massage our marinade evenly all over our chicken. Make sure it's covered well. Now it's time to push all the air out of that Ziploc bag. And you can always use a large bowl covered with some plastic wrap. And zip it up. Uh, follow me. I'm going to put our chicken in our RV refrigerator until dinner time. And we flipped it about halfway. Uh, we'll take a final swig of beer. Well, the sun's getting low, and it's about dinner time. We're gonna rub olive oil all over the inside of our instant pot. It makes cleanup easier at the end. We'll place our trivet inside of our instant pot, and we'll place our marinated chicken on top of our trivet, and we'll dump the marinade ingredients on top of the bird. And we'll add three quarter cup of water into the instant pot. Put your instant pot lid on. Seal your pressure release valve. And we'll pressure cook for six minutes a pound, plus five minutes of natural pressure release. Ah, it's time to pour ourselves a drink. Thank you to my good friend Zina and her husband Jamie. It's a fantastic bourbon whiskey. I uh, use a kitchen timer to make sure I don't go longer with my natural pressure release. I'll give it five minutes. Uh, in the meantime, we'll make ourselves an amazing glaze for our chicken. With another half cup of apricot preserves. Salt it up a little bit with some soy sauce. Give it a little twang with some rice wine vinegar. And I'll mix it up well. After our five minutes of natural pressure release, I'll release our pressure valve. We'll pull our beautiful bird out of our instant pot. Let's sit on a plate while we slather that beautiful glaze all over that bird. Ah, don't miss a spot. And we're using our air fryer to crisp it up. You can use your broiler if you'd like. Oil your 
preheated air fryer basket. We didn't really fit that well, so I smashed it down a little bit and touched it up with some more glaze. Oh, what a beautiful bird. At 400 degrees for six minutes. Our chicken looked like this. Gorgeous. You could always flip it over if you'd like to crisp the other side too. That's a juicy bird. The chicken just fell apart. It turned out absolutely amazing. And saved ourselves a wishbone. We didn't have any leftovers that night. I was the last one eating. Uh, we had a whole lot of fun here in Woodland Park, Colorado. Thank you very much for watching our show, and cheers to all you out there. And if you're interested in this recipe, there is a link in this video's description found just below, along with links to the toys and tools that we use in our kitchen. It makes cooking a heck of a lot more fun and easy. Subscribe to our channel, and share our video with your friends and family. Give us a thumbs up, and leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.